With her murder still unsolved, loved ones of a local mother of two gathered to say their final goodbyes tonight. Her family confirms 23-year-old Beverly Febbers was the woman found dead in a San Marco pond last week. News for Jack supporter Bree Isom is joining us live after speaking with friends and family. Bree? Yes, they're devastated right now. They say she was a hardworking mother. She left behind two boys. I'm standing right where police found her body off of Sorrento Road and family members, they just want answers and they want justice. Very funny person, very lovely mother, very lovely sister. It's a big loss for us. It's, big, it's a big loss for us. Dozens of family and friends showed up to 23-year-old Beverly Febber's funeral today in Arlington. Some wearing shirts that said sleep in peace Beverly and hashtag justice for Beverly. Febbers is the woman that was found dead in a San Marco pond last week. JSO says there was evidence of foul play at the scene. Sources told the News for Jack's I team that the woman was shot. She was the point of the party anytime we got together. And that's how we want to remember her. And that's how we want that everybody remember um, her. We also want justice. We want justice for whoever did this. Febbers leaves behind a three-year-old and one-year-old boy. She was a hard worker, always looking the best for her family, just like the whole family. Everything she did for the kids, I mean, it, it, like I said, it's, it's just a tremendous person that we lost. Her sister tells me she worked for Amazon and was actually looking to go into the military. They don't know who would do such a thing to a fun-loving woman. It just broke my heart when I heard yeah. what, what happened. Now, JSO is still looking for who did this. If you know anything about what happened, you should contact the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. I'm reporting live in San Marco, Brie Isom, Channel 4, the local station. And Brie, did her family say that she lived in San Marco or that she knew anyone there? Yeah, so her family told me that she did not live in San Marco. She also didn't know anyone in San Marco, so they're not sure who could have done this. Brie Isom reporting live for us tonight. Thank you, Brie.